So in this video, we're going to talk about why you would want to take vitamin E if you had a fatty liver. So there's a condition called NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. So what does this word mean right here? Well, hepato means liver, and steato means relating to fat, fat in a cell or fat in your liver. And then we have itis, inflammation of. This word would relate to a fatty liver that has some inflammation. Think of NASH as kind of like a fatty liver that's now becoming inflamed. There are several very credible studies that were done with vitamin E on NASH because medically they don't know what to do about it. They don't really recommend the ketogenic diet, low carb. They don't recommend fasting, which would really help this condition. If you look this up, there's not a lot of treatment except for vitamin E. Vitamin E has demonstrated significant improvement in steatosis, which is the fatty liver portion, inflammation, and ballooning of the hepatocyte, which is the liver cell. And basically what this means is that the liver cells have degenerated and they're dying. So vitamin E has the power to reduce the fat, inflammation, and the death of the liver cells in adult patients with NASH that don't have diabetes or cirrhosis. If you have cirrhosis or diabetes, I would still recommend this, but I would also recommend several other things too, um, which I'll put a link down below if you want more information about that. There's roughly at least eight parts to the vitamin E complex. You have four different tocopherols and four different tocotrienols. What they used is the natural version of only one of the tocopherols, alpha tocopherol, which is an antioxidant. But of course, I would recommend the whole complex. Why just give one part of a vitamin E complex? And they used 800 international units. Now, there are other studies that I'll put down below that used up to 1,000, okay? And some other studies that used only 400. But I think between 800 and 1,000 would be a good idea. Vitamin E stops the transition from going from a fatty liver to an inflamed liver. It's a very powerful antioxidant. And if you think about it, there's all sorts of free radical damage going on. Vitamin E can actually calm that down and put out the fire and prevent this inflammation, as well as prevent the fibrosis that happens after that as well. Just by taking vitamin E and not changing your diet probably is not going to change this that significantly. It may a little bit. But if you actually change your diet and you cut out the carbs that are causing this right here, it's driving the fat in the liver, especially high fructose corn syrup, by doing the healthy version of the ketogenic diet with intermittent fasting. And then if you actually add vitamin E on top of that, that'll be like the icing on the cake. Well, maybe I shouldn't talk about cake right now. But if you also add vitamin C, which is another powerful antioxidant in a food complex with choline, I think you'd have a really good complete program. If you want additional information about a fatty liver, I have quite a few videos. I'm going to put some of them up right here. Check them out.